तो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वेलकम वंस अगेन टू माय चैनल अमेजिंग केमिस्ट्री अमेजिंग चैनल आई हैव एक्चुअली यूज दिस वर्ड फॉर माय चैनल अमेजिंग केमिस्ट्री बिकॉज केमिस्ट्री इज समथिंग व्हिच आई पर्सनली बिलीव इज अमेजिंग इफ यू एक्चुअली वर्क हार्ड एंड स्टडी प्रॉपर्ली द कॉन्सेप्ट्स गेट्स क्लियर एंड यू विल फील दैट एक्चुअली केमिस्ट्री लर्निंग एंड स्टडिंग केमिस्ट्री इज अमेजिंग itself chemistry says so many thing in our daily life chemistry helps a lot so coming on to the chapter so today i am going to deal with the unit 12 of class 12th that is aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acid very very important chapter for class 12th students specifically for board point of view because around 6 to 7 marks uh, questions will be asked every year from this chapter as it has lot of topics which are very important so many name reactions conversions so in terms of uh, chemical reactions and interconversions from one organic compound to another this topic is very important so let's start with the chapter that is aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acids so first uh, i have written few uh, basic structures that is what is aldehyde so aldehyde is rcoh and then ketone is rc or sometimes what happen even students aware about the structure but due to nervousness or they get confused so first of all i have mentioned the structures of aldehydes then ketones carboxylic acids so c double bond o oh is carboxylic acid r c double bond o r is ketone and r c double bond o h is aldehyde and this specific this group is known as carbonyl group so carbonyl group is present in aldehyde in ketones in carboxylic acid and as well as in acyl halide this is acyl halide and this is the structure of acid anhydride then later this is esters and amides few well known aldehydes uh, these are the commercial names common names vanillin it is basically used for fragrance so normally we have used in uh, vanilla flavor so vanillin is basically it is having wonderful aroma and fragrance second one this is the formula of salicylaldehyde and third one is cinnamaldehyde so these are some commercial names of the aldehydes which are very well known to common people to the students now coming on to the nomenclature and structure of carbonyl group there are two systems of nomenclature of aldehyde and ketones first one is the common name and second one is iupac so these are some common names like acetaldehyde benzaldehyde beta bromo butyl aldehyde few more examples like acetone acetophenone propionophenone and benzophenone acetone is a generally a solvent which is used to remove some stains or paints so it is a very good stain remover then common names of ketones are derived by naming two alkyl groups or aryl groups bonded to the carbonyl group as i said c double bond is a carbonyl group the location of substituents are indicated by the greek letters that is alpha or beta so now coming on to the iupac names iupac name of the open chain aliphatic aldehydes and ketones are derived from the name of corresponding alkane by replacing the end name with e and with a like ethanol propenal pentanal hexanal heptanal and that's on respectively however the common name benzaldehyde accepted by the iupac also other aromatic aldehydes are named as substituted benzaldehyde like cyclohexane carbaldehyde pentenenal and this is one phenyl propenone as this is the keto group now coming on to the structure of the carbonyl group carbonyl carbon atom is sp2 hybridized because it contains double bond and forms 3 sigma the fourth valence electron of carbon remain in its p orbital and it forms the pi bond with oxygen by overlap with p orbital of an oxygen so carbonyl carbon and three atom attached to it lie in the same plane and the pi electron cloud is above and below this plane so bond and angle are approximately 120 degree as expected of the trigonal planar carbon oxygen double bond is polarized due to high electronegativity of oxygen atom as we all know that oxygen is electro highly electronegative element so there is a polarization uh, in the bond between carbon and oxygen 
here I present C double bond O once this electron moves to oxygen atom so there is a negative charge over there on oxygen atom so hence carbonyl carbon is an electrophile electrophilic that is Lewis acid and carbonyl oxygen are nucleophilic so Lewis base so now coming on to the preparation part very important topic for class 12th how we can prepare aldehyde so here in this video uh, I have discussed only few processes through which we can prepare the aldehydes first is by oxidation of alcohols aldehyde and, pre and ketones prepared by the oxidation of primary and secondary alcohol respectively as far as second process is concerned that is by dehydrogenation of alcohol this method is also suitable for volatile alcohol and is it is used for industrial application also in this method alcohol vapors are passed over heavy metal catalyst now another process is from the hydrocarbon by ozonolysis by ozonolysis of alkenes allowed by the reaction with zinc dust and water and it gives aldehydes and corresponding ketones and by hydration of alkynes addition of water to the ethane and presence of sulfuric acid and uh, this is mercuric sulfate give acetaldehyde preparation of aldehyde this is the reaction scheme uh, basically in which acyl chloride benzoyl chloride uh, it get reduced with hydrogen in presence of palladium bso4 it results in the formation of benzaldehyde second process is from uh, nitriles and ester this reaction is known as stephens reaction nitriles are reduced to corresponding amines with stannous chloride in presence of hcl so here what happened this nitrile uh, r represent the alkyl group so this nitrile get reduced in presence of stannous chloride and acid results in the formation of imine which on a hydroly acidic hydrolysis gives aldehyde further nitriles are selectively reduced by this is also one of the important reagents used in for the synthesis of uh, aldehyde that is diisobutyl aluminium hydride so what happened this is the reaction how it happened how it proceeds through so this is the procedure of formation of aldehyde so nitrile get converted to aldehyde in presence of diisobutyl aluminium hydride so students keep remember these are the key reagents which are normally used for the preparation of aldehyde first one is like palladium BASO4 then second one through uh, stannous chloride this is known as Stephen reactions now another one is from the hydrocarbons chromyl chloride this is etard reaction once again a name name reaction what happened benzene when it gets oxidized with the use of chromyl chloride so this is the intermediate which form further on hydro acidic hydrolysis results in the formation of benzaldehyde here is some few more mm, chemical reactions like toluene it gets oxidized in the presence of CrO3 and this is the acetic anhydride so this is the intermediate complex form again acidic hydrolysis and heat on giving the at high temperature results in the formation of benzaldehyde by side chain chlorination also we can prepare benzaldehyde so this is the reaction scheme toluene it reacts in presence of H nu that is light in the presence of light chlorine gas reacts with ben this toluene results in the formation of benzyl chloride which on hydrolysis give benzaldehyde one uh, once again a very important name reaction that is gatterman koch reaction when benzene or, or its derivative is treated with carbon monoxide and HCl in presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride or cuprous chloride results in the formation of benzaldehyde now coming on to the next topic that is how we can prepare ketones so from acyl chloride we can prepare ketones treatment of acyl chloride with dialkyl cadmium prepared by reaction of dial cadmium chloride with Grignard reagent so this is Grignard reagent Grignard reagent is basically alkyl magnesium halides it reacts with cadmium chloride results in the formation of dialkyl cadmium and this is magnesium halides so on uh, dialkyl cadmium on reaction with acyl chloride results in the formation of ketone this is RCOR so dialkyl ketone and cadmium chloride as a byproduct from nitriles how can we prepare ketones so treating a nitrile with a Grignard reagent followed by the hydrolysis results in the formation of ketone so this is another reaction so this is how it shows the formation of a ketone that is 
CH3, CH2, CN. This is nitrile compound when it reacts with uh, Grignard region. Phenyl magnesium bromide in ether solvent results in the formation of this intermediate. And when when this intermediate get hydrolyzed, results in the major product formation that is this ketone is propiophenone. And from benzene or substituted benzene, also the same reaction benzene on reaction with acyl chloride in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. This is basically a Friedel-Craft reaction where anhydrous AlCl3 used as a Lewis acid results in the formation of acyl halide. Acyl. So this is uh, once again a very important process through which we can prepare ketones. Hope you guys enjoy this small video regarding the synthesis of uh, aldehydes and ketones. Keep learning, keep doing your best so that you can learn and secure good marks in your board exam. Thank you. Thank you from your chemistry teacher Dr. Rohit.